main entrance. And here, where there's several different media organizations and their offices. So over there, there's Vox, and over here, there's the Pace Chronicle and their offices. But these two, these two are ours. So this one door is the studio. Yeah. That switch on, got the on air. This is where everything gets made. This is where the magic happens. My name is Patrick Dooley. I am a junior political science major with a minor in fine arts and criminal justice. I'm the vice president of WPAW currently. I was the senator last semester, last two semesters, so I've been with WPAW for about two years now. When we're here, it's never the same people that are actually in the room. There's always people that are um, coming in and out now. It'd be great if we could get some retention of members, but you know, it's still nice to see new faces and get some new ideas, and there's some pretty crazy ones. I like to just call it the meeting room. This is just where people like go gather the table. Usually, the e board will sit at because they have their computers out because they have a lot of information and notes, or they're taking notes on the meeting. Uh, mostly, everybody else will have like even more chairs than what you see here. The couches. People will just be filling up the whole space. There really isn't much. There, there really isn't many meetings where people are missing from WPAW. One could expect to be treated like family right from the start, like just jumping in. Uh, WPAW like prides itself on being a like family model organization. Like the eboards really close with each other. The eboards uh, traditionally like all the previous eboards are really cl uh, close to one another, uh, and that's something that they've tried to pass down throughout the years through our organization. And that's something that people can expect is that they'll be welcome here anytime, that they can do whatever they want if they want an idea and they're new. Like when I was a freshman or uh, when I was a sophomore and I came here I had a bunch of ideas and they were able to let me present them and stuff and people voted on them right off the bat. So it was nice to be able to have one's voice heard when you're new. Hey. Smooth microphone. Yes, yeah. I'm definitely gonna be listening to your show. <laughs> Currently we're very focused on our DJ services to the campus. We're also very focused on our radio shows, which are more f going in the direction of podcasting. Uh, so a WPAW member could expect to receive DJ training, training if they want it. And then once they're DJ trained, they can take equipment uh, with the team, of course, and go and run an event or a show. We got hired for several different events through many different organizations across campus. Probably have had at least one event for every org that is there. Um, and then a lot of people come back for more, so they can expect to be a part of that whole entire business aspect, but then the fun part would be creating their own uh, radio shows in our studio, getting to really brainstorm their own ideas and get to vent out into a microphone. <laughs> We got all of these CDs, uh, what was it, this whole collection of CDs, we used to have many different subscriptions through different uh, companies where we would, when we originally would just mix and do all of our uh, DJing on CDs and not digitally, we would get all of like the singles and samples from these and they've found their permanent resting place here on our walls. We also have a ton of vinyl records in our closet, which is pretty cool when we used to do vinyl. Uh, as you can see over here, we started a collage of things, different uh, concert posters, magazines, clippings, CDs, anything that anybody really wanted to bring in that uh, expressed their musical interests. And that's what we did. Over here is the things that make your mouth water section. We got Nick Jonas, Queen Bee, Beyonce, Iggy, and a panini. <laughs> 